In this project, we are going to create an Azure function app that will encrypt data to and from Azure Blob Storage. We start by creating a new service of type functional application. The runtime environment will be .NET Core. Most of the settings are the standard one as we don't need anything advanced for this demonstration. We reuse an existing storage account and the input blob and the output PGP encrypted blob will be there. Application Insights is useful to track errors and exceptions. When a deployment is ready we can start programming in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio we start with the Functional Application Project template. For this project we will create a blob trigger but for HTTP or another type of trigger the code will be very similar. Our blob trigger code will be very simple. It will be triggered on each new file upload in the input blob and will encrypt and place it into an output blob by adding a PGP extension to the input file name. The output blob should not be a blob trigger but we will correct this error later on.
The next thing that we shall do is to import DDSoft PGP DLL from NuGet. For this demonstration, we will use the trial version, but if you have already purchased DDSoft PGP for .NET, you will be using the production version from our private NuGet repository. Encrypting data from one blob storage to another is simply a matter of invoking the PGP lib class method encrypt stream. For this example we will be using a hard-coded public encryption key. But in a real-world application you shall get the encryption key from somewhere else. Now let's create the input and output blob storages. Let's fix the output blob which was left as blob trigger and add a hard-coded public key and then we are ready to deploy.
Now we are ready to publish the functional application and then test it. Once the functional application has been deployed, we can upload a file in storage 1 and it will become PGP encrypted in storage 2.